Hi and welcome, Lisa here to kick off the Whimsy Stamps virtual weekend event with a video tutorial. But first, I wanted to say we are so excited that you're joining us. We just regret that we can't all be together in person. With that said, we have an amazing event planned filled with inspiration, video tutorials, games, freebies, and prizes. So be sure to check in whenever time allows. I'm going to get the party started with a video tutorial featuring the Toucan Surf digital image. I want to mention that some of the digital images are free during this event only and will become available for purchase starting Monday. So today I'm going to leave the coloring to the pros. I'm not the girl you come to for coloring tips. I'm the stop after the coloring. You know, the what do I do next? And that's what I'm sharing in the video today. Now I printed the Toucan Surf Image three times onto Copic Express Blended cardstock, and I've colored them with my Copic markers. I have a PDF file linked below so that you can get all the colors over there. I'm using the Whimsy Stamps Nesting Hexagon dies along with a few other products during the video. So what you're seeing here is I took one of the nesting hexagon dies and ran it through my die cut machine with masking paper that was cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches, the same size as my card base. I have a piece of acetate here that I ran through my die cut machine that with a wavy die. Now I use this repeatedly. And what I'm going to do is flip my card base upside down and I'm going to create some waves at the bottom of my hexagon. I'm going to come in with a teal zeal ink and I'm just pushing down with the brush on the acetate, pushing forward and then lifting up. So it's a down forward up motion. I don't work in a circular motion when I'm doing this. So I have some blue ink. I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of more waves with that ink. And you'll notice I'm not going back, picking up more ink off the ink pad. I'm just using what's left on the brush. Let's go ahead and flip the card base back around. And we're going to come in with our Whimsy Stamps Puddles stencil. I'm going to add these. Uh, they're puddles, but I use them as like water splashing. It's great for that. So I'm going to come in with some of the blue ink and go ahead and add this splash here on the top of my waves. And then I'm even going to come in and add an even bigger splash right off of this little splash here. And I just like the look that it gives. Um, I think it's a nice touch to the waves. And I'm just going to using that same blue ink. I even come in with some of the teal ink to darken things up. And really, this is just something you want to play with until you're happy with it. So once we have our ink blending done, I'll go ahead, remove the masking paper from my card base carefully. And I even go ahead and add some mounting foam to the back of one of the two cans and adhere it to the card base. Now, I am going to come back and put a black frame over the top of this. So if you want to add your black frame first, hold off on putting your toucan down until you add the frame and then you can put your toucan over it. But I actually like the way the, that it looks when I place stuff over my images sometimes, but that's not a choice for everybody and I understand that. So just a heads up, if that's not something you want to do, then wait and add your toucan after you add that frame. So our second card, we're going to use the positive cutout from that masking paper, and then we'll place that on our card base. We're going to do some more ink blending on the second card. We're going to use that piece of acetate again, and we're going to create some waves down here at the bottom using that same ink that we used on the first card. And I'm just using the teal ink. Now at the very bottom of the card, I just take my brush and push ink onto the bottom of the card to fill in that area. So once I have the waves exactly the way that I want them, I'm going to turn the card upside down and I'm going to come in with some yellow, orange and pink inks and we're going to create a sunset back there. Now here I want to be real careful with when I apply my ink because I don't want to create 
uh, any green there at the horizon. So I'm real careful with the yellow pushing down and being careful to pull up at just the right time so we don't end up with green. Then I come in with some Tangelo and Rosebud ink and finish this off. I'm even going to ink blend the center there and just a bit um, to tone that white down just a little bit. So our third card, these are really quick. I've, I'm using the Whimsy Swish stencil. I've put some pixie spray on the back of it and also have a piece of cardstock that's cut to two and three quarters by three and a half inches. And I've used pixie spray on the back of that, centered it on that stencil, and then centered that on my card base. I'm ink blending with those same inks, the blue, the teal, and I'm going to bring in some green. The green is pear tart. And like I said, I'll have this stuff listed for you in the PDF file. You can click the link in the post here and that will take you over to that PDF file. So once we have all of our ink blending done, we're going to go ahead, pull that up and you'll get the feel for where we're headed with that. So here's the direction that we're headed with the cards. I have cut two hexagon frames uh, with black cardstock using those nesting hexagon dies. I'm going to place double-sided foam adhesive strips to the back of this frame. And like I said earlier, I'm going to go over the top of the toucan. And like I said, it's not a choice most people would make, but that's okay. But I decided I wanted to try it that way. I actually ended up liking it, so I went with it. I'm going to go ahead and line everything up, give it a good firm press down, and then I'll set this to the side because I'll do all the sentiments at one time at the end of the video. Shaker card. So super simple, placing a few little tick marks at the top and the bottom so I know exactly how to put that hexagon back down. The center cut out from that hexagon frame, I've put repositionable tape on the back of it and centered it on our area there. So now I know where my foam strips are going to go. I can build my shaker from the ground up instead of having to try to build a shaker, use extra acetate or cardstock, trying to center things. And it's just a, a hassle if you do it that way. So if you build it from the ground up, you won't have all of the hassle. So I've just added some adhesive to the back of that black frame and I have a piece of acetate that I ran through the die cut machine with the largest hexagon die that I'm using. And now I'm going to place my frame on that piece of acetate here. We're going to go ahead, remove the shape from the center of our card. And you can see I did some ink blending with some yellow ink because like I said, it was kind of a little bit too much. It needed to be toned down a little bit. I've added all of my sequins in the center of my card base. I'm carefully removing the release paper from that adhesive and I'm going to go ahead and close up my shaker now. It's so easy when you build a shaker from the ground up. So I'm going to add some mounting foam to the back of the toucan and place it on the sequin, on the shaker. This card here is super simple. Add some mounting foam to the back of the toucan and then just decide where you want to place it on that card and go ahead and adhere it down. I printed three of the Cowabunga Dude sentiments when I did my printing with the images. I've just trimmed them down with my paper trimmer. I'm going to add mounting foam to the back of those. I use a little bit of liquid adhesive wherever I need it and then add these to the cards. It's so easy. So I do believe that's about to wrap us up on this video. Now I do go in and add some black enamel dots to two of the cards. And I do some faux stitching around those black frames with my white gel pen to finish them off. Now I have done, uh, I've done these techniques before in videos that I've shared over on the Whimsy YouTube channel. If you haven't become a subscriber over there, I really want to encourage you to hop over there and check it out. We have some really fun things coming starting July 1st to the Whimsy YouTube channel. We are so excited about it and we really want you to join us over there.
So if you'll hop over there and click that sub subscribe button and check it out, we would really appreciate it. I want to say thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope you have a blast with us this weekend. Take care.